Welcome back to Life With Us TV. It's your girl, Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, in today's video, we're going to give you the 17 things you need to be doing almost immediately before you leave to go on your cruise. Listen, the way we came up with this is because it was stuff that we were doing in real time, but stuff that we had never told you all about to do. Yes. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get right into it. The first thing you need to do is, baby, clean that refrigerator out. Please. Clean the refrigerator <laughs> out. Get all of the things out of there that's going to go bad, that needs to be thrown out, produce, onions, milk. Anything perishable. Anything that's going to meet you at the door. Yes. Get rid of it. Yes. <laughs> And we've been there. And we have been there. Yeah. All right. The second thing that you want to do before you leave home, and this is going to save you some money, unplug all of your electronics, all your TVs, your clocks, anything that's going to be soaking up electricity while you mm -hmm. gone, unplug it. <laughs> Cut it off. Yeah. <laughs> we always do that. Whether we're going on a cruise, a resort, or anything. just visiting my mama for the weekend, we're going to unplug everything. Everything. Except for the refrigerator. Okay. And before we move on to the next thing, be sure to unplug your Glade plugins or any type of scent that you got plugged into the wall. Yes. Because those are a fire hazard. Yes. And if they are dried out while you're gone, like my husband said, mm -hmm. your house could catch on fire. Yeah. So don't forget that. The next thing is to take out the trash. So after you've cleaned out the refrigerator yeah. and you put the stuff in the trash, make sure you, you take, take the trash out. out. And that's easy to forget. <laughs> and that is easy to forget. Easy to forget. So empty all of the pails, your bathroom, in your laundry room, your offices, the bedrooms, especially that kitchen one. Get it out there. Put it to the curb. If you have like your county picks it up or whatnot, get it out of your house because yeah. a week sitting, yeah, baby. Your, your, your house going to smell like the local dump when you get back home. Mm. <laughs> All right, the fourth thing you make sure you need to do, and this one is easy to forget too, is to stop your mail. It is easy please, to forget. Especially if you get mail delivered to your house, please get that done. We've had times that we've done it in the and post they office. still bring it. They still bring it, but that's neither here nor there. Just make sure you submit that request with the post office before you go. Yep. The next thing that you want to do is, and I know that some of us, like myself, don't like people clocking your movement and all of that. But let someone that you trust know that you are going to be away. Yes. That could be for a variable of reasons. One, they're not checking on you and you're not responding and they think something's wrong. wrong. Yeah. Two, they know that you're away. <clears throat> and if you have good people in your life like we do, they will they will spin the block. Yeah. They will take and, and look out for things or when they're passing by, you know, just kind of do a double take to make sure that things look and, you know, the way that they should look. Let someone know. Yeah. Don't go on vacation incognito. Yeah. Don't do that to your friends and family. Yes. All right, family. Listen <laughs> to me good right here, family, because it wasn't us. Ain't no way <laughs> we going on a whole cruise. And come back and our lights getting turned off. Water. Or our car getting repossessed. Pay, make sure you pay your bills. And this this tip came out of a few years ago. <laughs> yeah. This girl that works for the electric company did not pay her electric bill before she went on the cruise. And when she got back, they sh snatched her lights off. Like, like there ain't nothing worse than hitting that light <laughs> and don't nothing happen. Right. But I know we joking right now, but it, it, it it's is easy, easy. To do. It's easy to forget that you need to pay your bills because you're so excited to get on your cruise. You don't care nothing about regular life, reality, nothing. You, all you see is the Lido and you having <laughs> some fun. So make sure you pay your bills so that way when you get back, your life is intact. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Boom. <laughs> <Bars. laughs> All right, the next thing that you want to do is notify your bank and your credit card companies that you will be traveling internationally so that when they start to see purchases that's not in your norm, they won't shut you down. Right. Now, there are certain cards and certain banks that don't even require you to let them know these days, but until you know that, still give them a call and say, hey, I'm about to travel these dates to these countries and they'll let you know whether or not you need to put a notification in right. or not. I used to work at a banking institution and one of my, my things were 
that don't look right, shut it down until we can verify whether or not that's the client. Right. And we don't want you to be in international waters trying to get your drink on, your shopping on, you out there in Grand Turk trying to buy souvenirs and you can't swipe your card. And your card ain't working. Because they think that somebody don't took your stuff and ran. Yeah. All right, y'all. The eighth thing, you definitely want to make sure that you look into this before you go, especially if you have a phone service through like Verizon, uh, T-Mobile, T-Mobile, any of the AT&T. major companies. Now, if you have a prepaid phone, you kind of mm-hmm. kind of in the clear. So you want to check with those companies and make sure that when you get out on international waters, that if you need your phone to be working, that it actually will work. And checking to make sure that you have the plan for that if that's your goal. Mm-hmm. But if not, now this part is if if you don't have it, but you still need to be connected, of course, you'll be able to purchase the Wi-Fi package and stuff on the shit where you can talk through your Facebook Messenger, mm-hmm. WhatsApp, WhatsApp, and things like, like that. And then sometimes when you get into port, which is wherever destination. destination that you're going to, you might be able, your phone might kick in and might be able to work. But don't let it be a surprise for you. Find all that information out before, before you, you get on the cruise. So we don't want you to get out there and panic because you can't call back home and check on your kids. Or if you or, did it and then you mm-hmm. get home and that bill is high as heck. Heck, right. So, yeah, take care of that. Call them up and they'll be able to take care and let you know if you got the right plan or not. Yeah, sure can. All right, the next thing that you want to do before going on your cruise, and this is one that always slips past us yeah. because we are the swiper people. Like, we swipe cards. We we. Everything works. Get cash. Yeah. Go to the ATM. Go to the ATM. Get cash. And then honestly, to be honest, because we recommend that you get smaller bills, you may even have to go into the branch or go to the window so that you can get like the dollar bills, the five dollar bills, because that's something that the ATM is not going to spit out to you. So make sure that this is something that you are doing beforehand. Right. And then if you forget... The cruise line do have their ATM that they do charge fees, mm-hmm. but you might be in luck if you like if you banking with Virginia Credit Union like we do, mm-hmm. they'll charge the fee, and at the they, end of the month we get refunded back. back. But if you ain't getting no refunds back on your ATM withdrawals, make sure you get that cash. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Next thing that we think is very crucial: make sure that you don't leave no dirty clothes in your laundry hamper. Yes, because them bad boys is going to be standing up. <laughs> when you get back home they might even be walking around your house and so you with a breakfast at <laughs> right so make sure that you wash all of your clothes before you leave to go on your cruise and this is something most people don't think about no, I don't but think like about you that. said mm-hmm. it's soiled clothes that's gonna be sitting for at least a week yeah so, so your dirty underwear in there for one week mm. same days mm. five your days your work clothes four days woo your towels washcloths woo yeah, let's go ahead and take care of that. Take care of that. Take care of that. Yeah. The next thing that you want to do, and I know a lot of this probably seems like, darn, I'm doing more work to go on vacation than anything. You're going to thank us when you get back. Yes, you but are. But clean your house. Yeah. Don't leave your house all in disarray, the shovel, stuff everywhere, the clothes that didn't fit in your bag is still all over the place. Yeah. Because we believe <laughs> that things out of place brings an energy to your home. Yeah. That when you walk back into your house and it's a chaotic mess, yeah. guess what's going to happen to that peaceful mindset? That or that you, excitement that from the crew? That excitement that you just had from vacation. It's immediately going to go back into oh, that, I gotta man, clean up this door house. house. Is a goddamn wreck. But if you go back into your home and it's clean and yep. it's everything has its place and everything is put away, that's an immediate, uh, okay, I'm back yeah. at home. I can settle back in. And the only thing that I have to do at this point is unpack and, and just fall back in line. Yep. So clean it out. Clean that house up. All right, the 12th thing that you want to make sure that you do not forget is to make sure that you secure mm. your home. What I mean by that. It's first thing you want to go around to make sure all your windows are locked because you might have put up a window one day and put yep. it back down and forgot to relatch it. You want to make sure before you leave the house that your front door and your back doors are locked. If you have a security system, make sure down. that you have on your security system. If you have cameras, make sure they still working. So make sure that 
When you leave home, your house is secure. So just in case somebody decide they want to have ill intent against you while you're gone, at least your house is secure. We've never had that before, mm-hmm. but we also make sure our house is secure. So don't forget and that. And the cameras are working. <clears throat> and we say that because <laughs> it's so easy because when you get ready to get out of the house to go, all this stuff is can slip your mind and be like, you you, you all the way halfway out there on a cruise and be like, hey, baby, did, did, you? did we lock the house doors? Yeah. Yeah. You don't want that. You don't want that. <laughs> We've been there. (laughs) The 13th thing that you want to make sure that you do, and this is an easy one to forget, is adjust your thermostat. Like, I know that we have it set to how it is when we are at home, but if you're a person that likes your house, like, ice-breakingly cold... Yeah. You can bring that up while you're gone and save on some energy costs. Yeah. Or vice versa. You're going out when it's colder weather and you usually like it a little bit warmer. You can bring the temp of your house down. Right. Save on the energy costs. And if you're like us, thankfully, you have um, access to your thermostat remotely. So we could just go on our phone and change it and yeah. bring it up or bring it down based on what it's going to be like when we... Touching down, ready to get back home. Right. But yeah, adjust that thermostat. And especially for those of y'all who still even have the uh, Wi-Fi thermostat that you got it on a schedule. Yes. So you want to make sure that you check that too because you're gonna your air going to be going up and down, up and down, up and down. And nobody's right. there. And nobody's there. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a really good one. Mm-hmm. Yes, it is. Right, well, thank you. Yeah. Because we were doing it in real time. Yep. We literally were writing this stuff yeah. down in real, in real time. time right? And we were like, why haven't we been telling y'all this? Nope. Because it's stuff that we just be doing and we think that everybody knows. Right. I mean, you do <clears throat> know, but nobody's like giving you forewarning that right. this is about to happen. Right. <laughs> All right. Number 14. For those you have your lovely furry animals that you are so in love with, your cat, dogs, gerbils. Mice, whatever you have, <laughs> not the make, mice. <laughs> make sure that you set up care for them if that's necessary for you. Mm-hmm. Don't forget that, because I know sometimes with that, just like oh, they with, ain't gonna forget with, that with, with, with children, you gonna have to find the babysitter way in advance. Mm-hmm. So maybe this may not need to be like immediate, but you know, oh maybe yeah, you a few need months, to set that up, <laughs> uh, set that up to make sure they're taken care of uh, before you leave home. Mm-hmm. All right, the next thing, water your plants or get those globes that do like the the gradual watering of yeah. the plants. They have automatic watering pots or the <clears throat> gradual watering pots with the cord that soaks up just enough water to keep the yeah. soil moist. We don't want your plant babies to be dead when, when you, you get, get back, back. Home. Nah. And then it's looking at you like, <laughs> yeah. suddenly Seymour. Right. <laughs> Feed me, feed me. Now, we're going to need your, your plants to be alive when you get back. I don't know if it's it's a dandelion or a weed plant. Either no way, way, we want it to be we alive want, when yeah. you get Give back. Give us some H2O. All right. The 16th thing, and this one right here can easily slip by because sometimes this one gets up. It does. Is actually setting up your pre-cruise transportation and parking. Mm-hmm. So what we normally do, we always order a lift to come and pick us up, to take us to the airport. We do Lyft the whole time. Anywhere we need to go, Lyft or Uber. But it's so easy to forget. So yes. Because most of the time, we leave out on our flight for like 6, 6 a.m. in the morning. morning. So we need to like so be out of here like at 4. Because one 4:30. time, we actually waited till the morning and scheduled it and almost didn't get a driver. Yep. Yeah, so make sure that you schedule that. Also, if you're going to be parking at the port, or wherever you're going to be parking at, at the airport. At the airport, make sure you got all that stuff stuff set up because you In don't advance. want Yeah, cuz you don't want to be the day before or the day off panicking about those two things. Take those matter of fact, start on it right now if you get ready to go on the yeah. cruise. And it actually does um help to do it in advance because <clears throat> it's cheaper. Yeah. I mean, the Uber and Lyft is going to be more expensive. Right. Because now you are reserving someone, but parking is going to be cheaper to do in advance. Right. All right, and the 17th thing that you want to do, and do not miss this step. It is easy to do, but make sure 24 hours before you're going to start getting emails and notifications from your airline and your hotels to do your check-in. They want to make sure that, hey, you still coming, like you still coming. And the reason you, you want to do that is because depending on what type of ticket that you bought, you could be like in the line to select your seats. Right. So if you're not doing it right at the 24 hours or you're waiting till the last minute, you and your family members could be sitting apart if you did not pay or have the privileges to select your seats when you buy your airplane ticket. Right. Also, 
for us, because we're Delta Silver Medallion members, when we do Delta, we can actually upgrade for free. Right. But it only happens when you check in early, get in the queue to be elected to get those free upgrades. So do it. Do it as soon as, you, as possible. Make sure if you have like your TSA pre-check that all of that information flows in correctly. So you don't really have that issue. Also, with your hotels, this is what I have been learning here lately. Because our flights be getting in so doggone yeah, early. Uh-huh. What I have been doing is I do my check-in. And, of course, some hotels will say four is the earliest or three is the earliest. And what I'll do is I'll do the check-in. And then immediately after on the app is I will message the hotel and say, hey, this is the deal. I can either buy a day pass at yep. another hotel or would you allow us to check in early, even if we have to pay an up fee? Only one time we have been charged a fee to yeah. actually get in early. Otherwise, doing it that way, we have not been turned away from checking in as soon as our flight lands and we Uber or Lyft to the hotel. If they have the space, they let us do it. Right. Because they know we come in. Yep. All right, if you enjoyed this video, you want to check out this video mm -hmm. next. The 10 things that you're going to need to do immediately when you board your Carnival Cruise. And yep. we're going to catch you in the next video. Peace.